This lesson will teach you the if statement, and you may or may not use it in this week's assignment. That's up to you. But the if statement is an essential programming statement that all programmers know, and if you do any complex programming, you will eventually use the if statement. Um, our mission is to have the sprite recognize what costume it's wearing and to change it. As you know, the cat sprite has two different costumes, and those are the two costumes we're going to use. If you think of the flowchart, if you think of our mission in the flowchart terms, the flowchart allows you to put things down in plain English. And this would be a diamond shape because it's a, it branches off into two different directions. And the question would be, well, the sprite would ask itself, am I wearing costume one? If yes, change to costume two. If no, change to costume one. So let's go to the controls. Up in the upper left hand corner, um, Scratch categorizes its programming terms. And we're going to go into control. That's where a lot of the programming term statements are. Here's the if statement. So if. So if I'm wearing costume one. That the if statement is the programming statement and am I wearing costume one is considered a conditional statement. It's usually a true for or false or a yes or no statement. So ours would be to put it in a true false context we're going to use mathematical terms but don't worry this is easy math. Um, this is using the equal statement. So if costume one, which go into looks, and there's your costume, if costume equals one, what are we going to do? We're going to switch to costume two. If you want to know on the output screen what costume the sprite is wearing now, click on this. It sort of helps you at, to program. So let's click on it and see if he changes. Up oh, there she goes. Now if I click on it again, if costume equals one, and as you can see it is not one, it should not move because we don't have it doing anything else. Nope. Didn't do anything. So let's go to the control and what do you do? Do you remember? Grab an if statement. And what are we going to ask? If costume equals two. So our operator get an equal statement. Looks, because we're changing the looks. So if costume number equals two, we're going to switch to costume number one. Double click on it, and you see it change and you can click up and down. Now we want it to recognize if it's wearing one or two. We have it um, recognizing it separately. So what if we put these together? If costume equals one, it should switch to two. If costume equals two, it will switch to one. So let's click on it. What happens? I'm guessing yours didn't change like mine didn't change. But if you look at the statements, you have it together. If costume equals one, switch to costume two. So now the sprite is on costume two. If costume equals two, switch to costume one. So it switched to costume one again, and it did it so quickly um, that we didn't see it because our computers are a lot faster than our eyes can see. So you don't want to put these together. So how are you going to get them to do it in one statement? So you don't have to think, all right, is it wearing costume one or costume two? That's where if then else comes in. So if he's wearing or she is wearing costume number one, we're going to switch to costume number two. Else, which is like saying if this, then, then this, or do this. 
So, or switch to costume one. So if he's wearing one, switch to costume two. If she's wearing otherwise, switch to costume one. Let's click on it. Clicked on it twice and it switches the proper way. If you want to see a more advanced technique using the if statement, click on the next video.